Hi, my screen name is Stellar Hope, and this is the Stellar Hope Show. And are you in a situation where you need hope? Are you in a situation where you need mercy? Are you in a situation where you need help from God? Well, in a sense, I think all of us in the USA, right here and right now, are in that situation. And there is a man of mercy who sits on the throne of God, and his name is Jesus. And Jesus loves you very much. I'd like to explain a little bit about Jesus. Um, I think the topic of our program is what King David did in Psalm 30, verse 10. King David says, Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. And that's Psalm 30, 10. And here's another uh, translation. Hear me, Lord, and have mercy on me. Help me, O Lord. So there we are. When we need help, that's who we go to. We go to the Lord for help. And I'd like to explain about three people in the Bible who cried out to the man of mercy. He's the Messiah. He's Jesus. They cried out to him. Now, uh, just to give you a, a little bit of uh, insight into who Jesus is, is way back in the beginning, God made everything just perfect, and uh, the devil came in, and people sided with the devil, and you know, rebelled against God, and sold us into uh, slaves of sin, and sold us into death. But there was a promise given from God at the very beginning that the seed of the woman, that there would be, uh, that he, he that he would crush the head of the serpent, the the, the devil who spoiled everything. So <clears throat> that promised seed was the son of David, the Messiah. He's called the Messiah, the Savior of the world. He was the one, a human being, but God in the body of a man who would come and make everything right. He would have two comings. His first coming was 2,000 years ago on the cross, and we're in an age of grace. And his second coming will be uh, at Armageddon and then usher in his kingdom. But let's start with what he did, just three signs in the age of grace when he walked the face of the earth. Okay, so we're in Mark 10, verse 47. And this is the situation is Jesus generally hung out up north in Galilee where the humble people were, or Jesus hung out east of the Jordan River where the Essenes were and the humble people, the Essenes. Well, he was going into Jerusalem to go to the Passover and declare that he is the, the son of David, the, the rightful king of the Jews, the Messiah. So he was in this town of Jericho, and he was with all of his followers. He had especially a lot of women followers. <laughs> the women really loved him because he, he, he raised their dead loved ones. He healed them of diseases. He, he delivered them from infirmities, and he healed them of destruction. That's who Jesus is. You know, power went out from him. The, 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 the adunamis is the Greek word, this, this force of life, this living hope, this power flowed out from him when he walked the face of the earth. And a lot of times that power still comes down. He touched me twice with that power. He touched me twice. Once when I was dying of terminal cancer, Jesus touched me from heaven and blew out that death. And then there was another time when, when I had such a broken heart and was just a crushed, crushed, crushed woman. And he came to me in a vision and he touched me on my arm like a son or like a counselor or a teacher or a coach or a doctor. 
and he touched me and I felt I experienced mercy flowing in to all my nano my nanoparticles of my total being physical mental emotional and spiritual so that same Jesus is alive today and that same power many many times touches us it's so incredibly wonderful okay so this is what happened to Jesus going back to what happened to him so he left north of Galilee then he came back down to um, east of the Jordan where the Essenes were and then he was coming into the temple and they should have crowned him king they should have done that but the Pharisees hated him you know what they're like the politicians people who lack mercy okay the political class today most of them lack mercy so the Pharisees were like the uh, the political elites of today that we have they just wanted to crush the people and they hated Jesus and they, they you know they crucified him but he rose again from the dead okay so here comes Jesus he's walking into this city named Jericho and in this city there was a blind man and there was another blind man with him and we are in Mark 10 46 okay next they came to Jericho and as Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho with a large crowd a blind beggar named Bartimaeus the son of Timaeus was sitting beside the road okay so everybody else was doing great they were going in with the Messiah but not that blind man no that blind man couldn't do anything but beg well when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry out oh Jesus son of David have mercy on me oh boy people didn't like that listen to this but many people admonished him to be silent hmm yeah when people are doing great they don't have any mercy on people on people who are really hurting bad and that makes me so mad okay so many people tried to get him to shut up but that man wasn't going to shut up he had to have mercy he had to have a miracle and so he cried out it says he cried out all the louder son of David have mercy on me okay so what happened then is Jesus said hey bring him to me <laughs> so so the guy got up threw off his beggar clothes and even though he couldn't see you know he was brought to Jesus and Jesus says well what do you want me to do for you and Bartimaeus says oh I just want to see you know I just want to see that's all I just want to see and Jesus touched his eyes and and let's see what he said here Jesus stopped and said call him so they called the blind man you know they said hey I uh, get up he's calling for you so throwing off his cloak Bartimaeus jumped up and came to Jesus Jesus stopped and says you know call him okay so what do you want me to do for you Jesus asked him well I think Jesus knew you know I mean everybody knew and he says Rabboni you know my, my teacher Jesus is the teacher of righteousness that the Essenes prophesied would come he says Rabboni said the blind man let me see again go said Jesus in other words you may go and live the rest of your life your faith has healed you okay so Jesus says go you know in other words hey you can go and see and live the rest of your life your faith in me Jesus has healed you Jesus healed him and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road so there's an example of this Messiah this 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 Savior this King who conquered death 
who was to come, and his name is Jesus. He came 2,000 years ago, and he resurrected from the dead, and he had mercy on that beggar, the blind man. And I'm going to pray for your situation here. You know, in a sense, we all need mercy. So you may need mercy for a disease, for a situation, uh, your children, your grandchildren, your, your parents, who knows, that you or someone you know needs mercy. And that's what we're going to do, you and I together. You know, the Bible says we're two or more gathered together in Jesus' name. He's there. So in a sense, in the Spirit, we can't see him, but sometimes you can in a vision. But he's right here with us. So think of a situation that you need mercy for. And we're going to pray the prayer of faith for mercy. That the man of mercy, Jesus, will touch you or touch the loved one. He'll heal you or heal your situation. Now, if it happens immediately, then we praise him. And if it happens slowly or if it happens in a way that we don't understand, that's okay. We believe by faith that the man of mercy is going to have mercy on you in your situation. Okay, let's come to him now to pray. Okay, Jesus, we know you're here. And your presence feels so good, and we love you. And right now, our viewer needs mercy in this particular situation. So we ask that you just reach out and touch the viewer, and touch their loved ones, and touch this situation. And make all things new for them, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so there we are. You could feel Jesus' presence and sense his presence, and he loves you very much. So uh, please comment, and I'd like to hear the good things that Jesus has done for you. Okay, bye, good night.